What's up guys, I'm Deno, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we're gonna talk about planks and how it gonna, how long it will take for you and a little bit about injuries throughout the way and so on and so on. But anyways guys let's start the video and i will demonstrate i like uh, 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 uh say i will uh, paint for you a little bit just so you can maybe you know understand what i mean so guys le okay i'm left-handed so maybe i have to stand here so guys this this guy and this guy they both have the same goal it's to achieve the full planche so this guy he never put a timeline on how long it would take for him to achieve the full plan. But this guy, he told himself like, all right, I'm going to get it in like six months. All right. We just say like this. They're both the same height, both the same weight. Both have the same background and everything. They just curious and they just saw somebody do a plan and they got motivated to, you know, now they have a new goal to do a plan. So. Now let's say it, it, this guy, he journey, his journey starts. So he starts, he goes up and down, you know, it's something to whoop. He goes up, you know, progress, and then he plateaus and boom, he achieves the full plank after one and a half years. Well, this guy, in his mind, he thinks that his way is gonna go like this, you know nothing will happen just smooth and after six months he will achieve it but in reality what happened with this guy is that this is his his journey he plateaus he got he get injured he stops and come back he get motivated now he's disciplined he's not disciplined so he's unmotivated that means he does he stops and it goes like this and this and this and then after four years he can do a banana plant not a clean one but it took him four years this guy though clean plant one and a half years what's the difference between these two guys well let me tell you this this guy over here the only thing he saw was the full planche in here he had a goal and his goal was to achieve the full planche it doesn't matter how long or what it takes this guy searched on the internet he followed steps he followed programs he trained like consistently even when he plateaued even when he stopped progress he was still consistent because he knew he would achieve it on, on the way he got injured he like he, he starts getting pain in his forearms and all so on and the wrist but after one point one and a half year he just now we do it planned he like he's you know he's achieved it. he's achieved it well this guy he thought like okay in a six month i'm gonna make it his ego was more of like ah you know i can do it i'm strong you know because his background is kind of strong so he starts, you know, he's super motivated and then he got plateaued and he's like stopped training it. Like he doesn't even train for playing because he's unmotivated. Then he's like, oh, I'm motivated again. He starts again and then he got a little injured and he stops because he doesn't want to train and so on and go back and forth, back and forth. And after four years by doing like only depend on his motivation, it took him four years, but he only depended on his discipline. It took him 1.5 years. So that's the difference. And that's what can happen in reality, guys. I'm not saying it's going to take one and a half year for him or four years. It could be like opposite, you know, but still this guy, he achieved the full planche in one and a half year with clean form. Why this guy just do a banana form and call it a full planche, which I think it's not. I can't respect people trying to teach other people when they you know they do plan it, it, it it's like it's like it's take you take away like all the hard work people have like people that deserve you know that been working hard through the plant to make it clean and when somebody's coming you could do whatever you want but i'm just saying 
I, I would never listen to anybody just do play and say, ah, it's easy, but he doesn't do it like a clean form anyway, so it doesn't matter. So that's the difference, guys. So, man, I'm saying so, so much. Yeah. Okay, so that, anyway, so this guy, <laughs> I'm just saying so, so many times. This guy, he now he's working, you know, he's working on his goals and so on. So guys, the reality, and for you, for me, for him, for her, for anybody that wants to achieve their goals. You know, your journey will always look different. You know, mine's and yours will look completely different. Even if we are same height, you know, like I said, same weight, and we follow the same program. It doesn't mean that it's going to take three years for you and it's going to take a year for me. It could be a whole nother story. The only thing I want to say, guys, is planch is such a skill that it requires a lot of strength of course but you know how much time and effort you have to put in this to get like to get to it because of course there are some percentage of the people that but not a big one that can like from four months they just like boom they do planches you know they stuff like that but i'm talking in general like most of us like even though the best athletes you see out there through the way guys stuff happens you know you get injured you know how many people that have been have this forearm pain wrist pain it happened to me but the 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 difference between this and this one is that this guy he doesn't complain he just knows that all right uh, it's a little backfire for me now. I just stopped progressing, but I, he keeps moving because he know he will get there. Well, this guy, he just finds excuses. You know, he's afraid of a little pain. He's afraid, you know, this guy. And that's why, and he complains. And then he starts writing to other people like, ah, oh, it's impossible for you if you're 180 plus centimeters to do plant because himself took so much you know and stuff like that Ooh, this guy will always help you like if he's not has not like a bad ego but you know most of like most of the calisthenics athletes i've seen is something they just it's like a family some you know they just you know good-hearted in some way i don't know how to explain it. you know the the community but anyway this guy is like, this guy will help you he, even if you he will never tell you like hey you can't do it because you are too too high. You will never. A guy that knows, listen, it, a person that can do, a, let's say, a full pledge, he will never tell anybody that, oh, hey, listen, if you, you're too high, you can't do it. He might say that um, your height can be, like, you, maybe it can take longer for you, or maybe it's going to be a little harder for you. Of course, they can say that. Doesn't mean it's going to be. Well, you know, the, but he would never say like, you can't do it. This guy, like this guy's guys, they just gonna tell you that, nah, you can't do it because they can't do it themselves. Because I don't see if you can do, like plants with a banana form, guys, it's like, it's a different, you know, it, I know plants is a plant, but plants is still not a plant. To do it with clean form, to activate all the, the muscles and you know make it clean that's the harder part you know this one you know a lot of people can do this but anyway so guys through your journey through your way never think about don't put a timeline okay just stay consistent depend on your like discipline because your motivation will go like this you know that's okay because but the only tip i'm giving you is in anything you do, like even if you have goal in school, goal with uh, like another sport, anything, but you have your goal, never listen to this, or never do it in this way, because this way will only like, I don't know, this is not like, I, I can't like, this example here is just negative, you know, because it's too much complaining, too much whining, too much, uh, like uh, talk bad about other people, you know, uh, tell other people they can't do it. So don't do like this guy. All right. I'm not saying this is going to be a one and a half year. You're going to get full play. No, I just was just an example. But follow this guy. The guy, the only thing he did was one. He saw his goal. 
number one. Number two, he stayed consistent to his goal. And number three, he never put a timeline because he knew that if he followed these three things, he would get there. And guys, I swear you will. I, I'm just saying that you have to know that no matter where you're at, no matter which like progression you're at, it's planche, it's, it is a hard skill. I can't, I mean, I, you know, even if like, maybe some of you think that when I'm doing it, oh, it's, you do it so easy and so, I mean, it's just some days guys, I can't do it that way, you know? It's just something about it. Some days you just feel stronger and then I do it more like better than other days, you know, but I have this journey, you know, I follow this guy and this guy took me to the pledge and that will also take you to the pledge, you know, guys. So if you're injured, you know, all those stuff, like you, you know, have to, rem you have to remember, you get so used to the move. Eventually all this pain will get away. But in the beginning, yeah, I've got pain here and here. You have to take a little pain to get to your goal. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, if you really hurt yourself, trying to no, but just a little pain here and there, it's just, it's going to go away. All right, guys, I really hope you understood what I was trying to say, but yeah, guys, if you like this video, you know, I would appreciate if you like it, uh, subscribe to it. And if you like, I put a lot of content on my Instagram also. And yeah, guys, thank you so much again for watching. And I see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.